my talk since January. Uh, we have been, this is seventh month, I've been going through uh, related with the Dharma words um, after someone passed away. And uh, especially today, we have uh, students from Yongsan University, so welcome. And we meet every day at the meditation and also at the meal time. And I'm asking, what did you learn? You know, so <laughs> hopefully uh, they may know uh, well in terms of uh, the teaching itself, but uh, uh, explaining in English is another matter. So probably this is a good practice for you to hear Dharma talk in English. So I started with the Dharma verse for the, uh, my dear colleague, friends, late Karin O'Connell. And recently we had um, the audiovisual, you know, the shooting, the documents uh, creating. And um, uh, to remember and to dedicate this audiovisual document to uh, our founding uh, two pillars, Dr. Yun Sopo, the first president, and also Karin O'Connell, our chief uh, administrator. So one of the question uh, and one of the sort of common response was, how can she accept even adversary conditions? Many hardships, how can she accept? How can she have those adverse conditions, positive attitude and constructive sort of effort and decision? And uh, so since I don't really address uh, Colin's uh, the characters, so I'll just start with, uh, I was quite um, impressed by the people. Regardless of any adverse conditions, Colin has a very positive and constructive directions and uh, attitude. So this Dharma words we start with, uh, you know, first call her name, Colin, listen. <laughs> so that was uh, the starting point. And then uh, the next month, well, Colin died. Nobody, no ears. How can she listen? So who is listening? and uh, numinous awareness, regardless of body's existence or non-existence. And then the uh, next month, uh, more conversational way, calling the life you just lived and the life you are heading for. You are the owner, you are the creator. So, any regret, anything left over, please accept you as an owner, you as the creator. And then, well, if we keep saying, you know, you are the owner, you are the creator, then we may see, oh my, then my karma is fatalistic, just pessimistic. I cannot do anything but just accept but just follow, then say, well, karma is not fatalistic nor pessimistic. Through enlightenment to your own nature, you can break through the cyclical continuum of your karma. And then enlightenment is very important. So we talk about the enlightenment, three stages of enlightenment. The first is uh, oneness, the second is true voidness. And this month is marvelous existence. And uh, so, oneness. One is the original source of all things, and original nature of all sentient beings. All are in one, right on. And then the next, last month, I talk about voidness and emptiness. So, no discrimination regarding great, small, no change amid arising and ceasing, and no, 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 not, 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 that's 
that's a uh, heart sutra we studied. And then uh, this month is marvelous existence. <sighs> marvelous existence. These days, I am asking, is our life is marvelous? We see so many challenges. You know? Continuous uh, gun violence and many, many unfortunate things such as wars and discriminations and polarized politics and fightings. So, I'm asking, is life good? Is marvelous existence? Um, and while I was asking this question, I happened to, I mean, you may know this book. It's 2014 it was published, but now I am reading. Yuval Harari, Sapiens. The Brief History of Humankind, I started to read this book, especially chapter 4. Recent to five, 500 years, Scientific Revolution, that chapter I was reading, and I was really reflecting on our current uh, history. Is it marvelous existence? Is life wonderful? So that questions I was asking, so probably I will have this topic some other time, you know. I don't, I shouldn't uh, go too far away to my topic. Um, so uh, here, a uh, marvelous is, uh, existence of uh, follow on our scripture this time. Okay, so uh, the uh, truth of your words. Through the light of void and calm, luminous awareness. And then, the creative transformations of true voidness and marvelous existence conceal. So that's uh, the truth of your one son is uh, explaining where we are now, marvelous existence. Through the light of good and calm, luminous awareness, and then, creative transformation of true voidness and marvelous existence conceal and reveal themselves. So, uh, through the light of void and calm and luminous awareness, discrimination, distinction, Language and names and signal, signs reveal. So, you know, close kind of context we can think about. After we have a sound sleep, I wake up and I am aware of I am alive. And my awareness appears or a thought arises. While we are in sleep, it's like the world ends, but through awakening, through when I wake up, I'm aware of my existence and thought arises. So that's uh, some connection. If you are in deep uh, meditation uh, stage, you have a full rest in calmness. And then you are aware. Yes, it's the time to wake up and then to chant the one song. So that's the uh, point you can see. And um, one other question uh, you may ask. Then is it true voidness and marvelous existence is time sequence? First true voidness and then later luminous awareness and marvelous existence? Is it time sequence? 
the first this, and then second. And uh, that has been a quite a uh, question and debate. So while I was preparing my talk, I thought, you know, it might be helpful, <laughs> just some drawing. This is uh, Ilwan-san in Iching, Uchi, nothing, emptiness. And from there, Tai Chi. In Enyang, the Tai Chi. So here the question is, is it from true emptiness, Uchi to Tai Chi is time sequence of If we uh, think about the Bible story, Garden of Eden, the Adam and Eve, they were very innocent. And original sin, and then the world developed. So you can see some time sequence of, you know, Garden of Eden, and then Adam and Eve, innocence, and then original sin and the word. Um, so, uh, Uchi and Tai Chi, you know, from just the circle, emptiness, true voidness, and from to uh, Tai Chi, in and Yang. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, one perspective. So in our textbook, in our uh, Iluan Sang, uh, Truth of Iluan Sang, you can see somewhat the direction of time sequence, uh, but at the same time, uh, the Truth of uh, Iluan Sang vow, you just uh, chant. It can form both the permanent and the impermanent. Viewed as the permanent, and viewed as the impermanent. So it's not really time sequence, it's more like how it is viewed. Viewed as permanent, viewed as impermanent. And uh, I'm just giving you, you know, your further inquiry. So the, that kind of uh, not a time sequence, you know, kind of that, uh, in, you know, more circular way, uh, we can think about, I have a dime and I have a penny. So, it has both sides, right? So, viewed as this size is dime, who is in there? Who is in, in that uh, uh, dime? And then uh, penny, Lincoln, right? So Lincoln size and the other size, and this is, you know, this size and that size. So viewed as permanent and viewed as impermanent. And current kind of money is credit card. So credit card this, and then the other size. So we can see the truth. Uh, times console or two sides of the coin. So I want you to think about. And um, as I said, let's uh, follow. Let's, leave, uh, let's stick to the, uh, the scripture. So at the Yuan Sam vow, Viewed as permanent and viewed as impermanent. And then there, viewed as permanent, it has unfolded into an infinite world that is ever abiding, un unextinguished, just as it is, and spontaneous. Viewed as impermanent, it has unfolded into an infinite world, now as progression, now as a regression. So here, the, what is happening, what is changing, is more impermanent sides. You know, all the changes, progression, re retrogression, grace arising from, harm from grace. 
So that's uh, so. Uh, when you read the uh, Dharma verse, Dharma words of Yuan Sam, um, it gives um, you know quite uh, good uh, good explanations. So here we can see the uh, the categories. Um, the whole universe, 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 right? Uh, the scientists, uh, they say, you know, shouldn't be multiverse, not the universe. That's another story. So universe. And then all things in the universe, right? All things in the universe. Trees and mountains and stones and rivers and, uh, and also living things. All things in the universe. And then, if we get more, the next level is four modes of birth and six uh, rebirth destinies. So, we humans and individual animals, right? Butterflies and <laughs> the Dogs and cats and uh, bacteria and virus, we don't know. That's animals who are in the middle. So, anyhow, so that's uh, four modes of birth. Uh, those are the category um, Venerable Sutta Sun followed. Universe, whole universe, you know, moons, you know, suns, Venus, and Mars, and universe and then under that in, in there all things and then uh, four modes of the birth that more animals so universe has formation substance decay and extinction universe we know that the earth was uh, created such such years ago and then earth is keep changing, and then the mode of decay and finally extinction, like other stars. And then all things in the universe is uh, explained as a birth, old age, sickness, and death. So here the changing mode of birth, old age, sickness, and death. And then individual humans and uh, all animals in other words, sensation things is mental and bodily functions. How we think, how we act. We are going up or down. So six rebirth destinies are explained. So uh, when I gave my Dharma talk uh, to my dear friends, all things follow the six path and four forms of birth according to the cycle of birth and death. So that's the sort of, you know, the, uh, the nature you can see. So you, uh, I want you uh, to think about how uh, Mr. Sutte san explained the marvelous existence. So marvelous existence, according to his explanation, is uh, um, Dharma verse of the Yuan Sam, there um, he said, the principle of birth and death operates like spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Principle of birth and death is operate like spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And the principle of retribution and response of cause and effect. So the causality operates like the alternating predominance of yin and yang. So those two uh, principles, Mr. Sotesan explaining in terms of uh, this marvelous existence. So marvelous existence, it's like uh, nature's spring, summer, autumn, and winter, that operation and also uh, alternating predominance of in and out. 
So, if you are familiar with um, the, the Chinese uh, East Asian medicine, uh, we talk about, uh, as I say, yin and yang, and then from yin and yang, five elements are created. So here, five elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, wood, fire, earth, metal, water, five elements. And these five elements and then cause and effect, somewhat Master Sutesan wanted to really relate. So cause and effect was really taught in the Indian kind of context. And then these five elements, these are taught in East Asian context. And then when Sutra San, uh, Mr. Sutra talks about marvelous existence, those two are interrelated and matching. So I want you to think about, I cannot give all uh, explanation because I'm also really studying and doing inquiry. So um, in one chapter, the, uh, the cause and effect, chapter two, um, it says, in accordance with the principle of circulation of four seasons in heaven and earth. So heaven and earth, four seasons, you can understand, right? There's a myriad of things, a transition between birth, old age, sickness, and death. So seasons are changing, and we are getting old. Right? Last year I was 67, and this year I'll be 68, and next year I'll be 69. Right? So that's, uh, then I'm getting older and older, getting closer to closer to death. Okay. And uh, in accordance with the law of alternating predominance of yin and yang in the universe. Yin and yang. Summer, yang is Increasing, increasing, and extreme. Then from there, in it's appearing, and then winter, in is extreme, and from there, yang. So here that uh, part, you know. So winter, one yang is starting to dominate, and then summer, one in starting to grow and dominate. So here the, the, the according with uh, in accordance with the law of alternating predominance in and yang in the universe, there may manifest among human beings in the wholesome and wholesome distribution and response of cause and effect. So um, you know one of just uh, short tips. Cause and effect. Does cause and effect exist? Someone who is not totally unrelated to me, cause and effect is arising because husband and wife, we are close and we are different. Or we are in fighting. So the cause and effect, in a sense, is uh, relationships. So the yin and yang, the five elements, is more like relationships. What kind of relationship do you have? Is it mutual life giving or mutual overcoming and conquering and fighting? And through that uh, relationships, good cause, good effect, harmful cause, harmful effect. So that's uh, happening. So um, I think I will stop here. And as I said, uh, the recent 500 years is scientific revolution. And definitely, we have made progress in material civilization. I think I agree. And how about 
mental and spiritual civilization. Have you have we improved? Definitely, that's the question. On balance, somewhat creating this uh, all agonies and, and all troubles and all human sufferings. So this is the time we need to really think about unfolding of spirit. We need to pay more attention to unfolding of spirit, not just in individual level, societal level, and systematic level. Because these days, we may not even know we are harming others, because systematically, we are involved and then the wrong risk system, wrong policy may harm in Africa or you know in other countries. So here, unfolding of uh, spirits is you know great task uh, for us. And uh, so I will continue my talk. And uh, so somewhat, uh, uh, as I said. You know, once I started to read the marvelous existence, I started to ask questions and questions and questions. So um, I wanted to have uh, kind of, you know, some session on that issues. And I'll be gone uh, August and September, so I'll be back uh, in October, and we will continue. Probably I'll have one more session to conclude uh, this Dharma verse for uh, my friend Colleen. Uh, the last part I really want is, your own birth or death is only one change, not final cessation. I think that part I need to really have it and as a conclusion. Thank you again. <laughs>